Leaked images have an iPad 5 beginning to surface. HTC confirms a February 19th event, and the Nexus 4 is back on sale. Hopefully. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I've seriously given up on the Nexus 4, but this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Google has once again started selling the Nexus 4 on the Google Play Store, and even though I've currently lost complete faith in them in trying to buy this device, I know many of you are still on the ropes trying to get one. It still retains the same price tag, and it'll ship in one to two weeks, but I would hurry up if I were you because this message will most probably self-destruct before this video even goes live. And speaking of Google, new rumors have the company working along with ASUS on a newer version of the Nexus 7 that sports a 1080p display and probably a new redesign. Rumors also have the company working on launching this device on May 15th or 17th-ish, somewhere around there. Which is interesting because it's probably a little bit earlier than Google I.O. when it happened last year, so stay tuned for the news. And speaking of announcements, we were expecting for HTC to announce their M7 at MWC 2013, but as it turns out, they just sent out press invites for an event on February 19th in London and New York City. M7 will most probably be launched there, but hopefully we'll be getting some hands-on time at MWC 2013 as well. Now, which of you will believe that HTC will also announce a tablet at this event? Some of us believe it'll happen, so stay tuned for the news. And if the iPad 5 is your thing, new leaked images show a larger version of the iPad mini already out in the blue end. The design looks exactly the same to the other one, which is code to the iPad 5. Now, it's hard to know if the design will be ready for a launch within spring of this year, like it happened last year, but with Apple, you never know. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Apple has just announced an iPad 4 with 128 gigs of storage. Just think about it, you could buy a mid-tiered MacBook Air with the same 128 gigs of storage, and you'd have enough for a computer. The device will retail on February 5th for 800 bucks for the Wi-Fi model and 930 bucks for the LTE model. And that leads me to the question of the day. What would you do with 128 gigs of storage on a consumer-based tablet? In my particular case, I'm okay with 64 gigs on all my iOS devices, but still, leave us a comment down below. What would you do with so much storage? If you think about it, there's $100 of difference between the 64 gig and the 128 gig, so it makes some sense for some people like me, but still, it's overkill. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.